All new at 11 tonight, we are following, we are hearing from a heartbroken family. A southern Johnson County fire killed two young children and severely injured a mother Friday night. Now, a community is coming together in support of the victims. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet joining us in studio tonight with those details. Ebony. Drew, doctors are treating the mother of that family at Wisher tonight. Hospital officials tell us she remains in critical condition. And friends and family tell us they're doing everything they can to support the family. This charred skeleton is what's left of a two-family Navia home. You just stare at it like a bad train wreck when you pass it. You know, it's ugly and sad. Here at the Crossing Church, donations grow for a family that has lost so much. I think it shook the, the core of this community. I've, I've never seen this many people come together. Friday evening, witnesses say a fast, ferocious fire ripped through the upstairs apartment. Authorities say Serena Slesher Abbott was inside with her three children, her husband at work. David and Ryan Dodson are in Indianapolis to be with their brother and sister-in-law, who's critically injured. She's in rough shape right now. They, they've got her on a ventilator for her safety to keep her body calmed down. Um, they, they're just keeping her body at ease right now. The brothers say they're taking it minute by minute with their five-year-old niece who ran for help Friday. I'm very grateful, uh, very, very grateful uh, that she was able to get out of the house, run next door, and get help. Um, I'm, that's just, we're very fortunate that she was able to get out. Dolls, there's a bike, food. Several people have donated with a kindergartner in mind. It was amazing to, to see my little, my daughter just open up like that for her friend. And along with the toys, there's clothes and other things for a family, including a father. Friends say is trying to hold it all together. We've all just been kind of brainstorming, trying to figure out what we can do next to, to help Chris. To, to get him out of this, you know, to help them bring their family back out of the ashes. Now, for more information about the organizations collecting donations, log on to the IndieChannel.com. We've created a hot button. Ebony Monet, RTV6. Ebony, thank you for that report. And we have more details now as managers at some area businesses have also been touched by the Nineveh tragedy. Hotbox Pizza in Greenwood is planning a fundraiser. On December 14th, managers say 20% of all sales will go to the Abbott family. From 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., people can dine in, pick up, or order delivery to take part in the fundraiser. I grew up a town beside. I grew up in Trafalgar. Um, I have an 18-month-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter. Uh, and a spark just burned in me and I couldn't imagine losing my kids. So I have no clue what they're going through, but anything to help the community, to help this family, we'll do it. Managers say customers can either bring in a flyer or mention the fundraiser for the donation to go to the family.